Archer. I'm a freshman and I'm a Peace Justice major and a Religious Studies major. My name is Alyssa Mandula. I am a first year Peace, Justice, and Conflict Studies and Philosophy major. Hi, my name's Asta Sharma. I'm a junior. I'm a Peace, Justice, Conflict Studies major and a psychology major. Hi, my name is Glennis Green. I'm a second year graduate student in the Department of Sociology. Hands on, this has um, been the most influential class I've ever taken at DePaul. Um, the experience is tremendous. The, the insight and um, opportunity in, in that room um, at the prison is, is incredible. It's unmatched. Uh, there's not going to be another opportunity in, the, in, in most people's life um, to experience a class like this inside a prison, um, talking to, to real individuals going through the prison system. Um, so to, to really, uh, no matter what walk of life you're coming from or what perspective you bring, uh, there's really um, a lots of insight available to any type of student um, that is interested. Uh, it's been an incredible class. And Whether or not you have a strong interest in the prison system going into this, it's a really unique experience to be able to take something you're learning about in a textbook, in a lecture, and actually see it play out in person. I mean, we're not just reading about the prison system. We're not just discussing the prison system. We're in it. So take that and look at it through the lens of whatever your academic interest is and think about how unique of an experience that would be and whether or not you have the opportunity to seize that one. This is one you can do. Uh, this class has really helped me uh, change my perspective on the prison system and uh, both inmates and the uh, whole criminal justice uh, process. Uh, there's a lot of fallacies and misconceptions, um, and this class really gets you the first-hand truth about the prison system and how it really works and what it's really like, not just what you see on TV. Um, and I will take that with me for the rest of my life. Yeah, I mean, the biggest lesson that I've learned, I think, is just like the overall humanizing of concepts, like things that are outside of my comfort zone or outside of my immediate um, like surroundings, being put into a completely new context and like forced to challenge like my preconceived notions about things and just see the faces of things that are usually just um, concepts or broad ideas and like really engaging with those things. One thing I've also found interesting, like not just the different perspectives we have and the different histories we have, but how many similarities there are that I wouldn't have expected. I feel like amongst the different experiences or even within the different experiences, there's a lot of like shared emotion and shared perspectives that I wouldn't have expected. Like I'm, I feel like we have more in common with these guys than I initially thought we would. My time going to the class, like I look forward to Fridays and I, even though, you know, we're DePaul students and we're, you know, unless you're a science major, you don't typically have class on Fridays. It's definitely, I mean, it doesn't even seem like a sacrifice to me because I look forward to it. It's such a cool experience. Like even just the aspect of walking into the prison, um, it's a totally liminal thing. Um, and I look forward to my time with the, you know, with the guys inside and um, hearing what they have to say. It's really valuable. Uh, I just, I feel so thankful that I went and took the interview with our professor and I'm just thankful after every class session, thankful about like the discussions we have and it's just been the most rewarding experience that I've had through DePaul. So, like, ten years from now, I don't think, you know, I'll necessarily remember, like, the information in class or, like, the readings or, you know, basically what we've talked about, but I'll remember definitely my experience with the guys and the fact that, um, you know, the stories they've told me and, like, the impact, you know, when we're talking about something, um, they really bring it to life and they give a face to the fact that when we talk about, um, you know, like, torture in class and when we talk about, you know, the injustices that go on, they can tell you a personal story and that, that's where the value is. And on the personal... Like Maggie said, um, even if you're not interested in going to in, into the areas of criminal justice or doing any work in a criminal justice system, it is pre preparation for any field that you go in. As I said, I'm a second year grad student and I wish I had half the experience that um, these students are receiving as undergrads. I really feel like this is a, an experience that you really think, wow, my tuition dollars are really going towards something wonderful when you, when you really think of it like um, going off of what Glennon said about how 
it's really just about what you take from this experience and what you do with that in the future. Whatever avenue you plan on going into career rise or with graduate school or anything like that, I am confident that there's something you can find in some of these readings and something someone is going to say that is going to be impactful on what you end up doing. And it's all about looking at it through whatever specialized lens you're coming into it with and then making the most out of the opportunity through that lens so that it is beneficial to you in the future, whether or not you plan on sticking in the prison system. I think one of the greatest things about this opportunity is that um, it really allows students to get involved beyond the classroom. And as a part of one of DePaul's primary goals and mission is to get students involved in service learning opportunities and working with institutions and organizations in the community on social justice issues. And what better place to learn about social justice issues than in a prison?